trust this guy? I don't know if we can trust him. No, look at him. I don't think we can try. trust this dude. Is there actually blood packets here? Yes. We gotta see that. Let's we go. Get yeah, let's get in this thing. Infectious waste. This room has absolutely everything. This is yeah. donated blood, yeah. Volunteer donor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a drug deal, but it's really not. You got the stuff, bro? Oh yeah, bro. All right, our mission, the building right there. I'll tell you about it when we get inside. Should be good. It'll be really good. It's gonna blow your minds, actually. All right, all right. So we're joined today with Steve Ronan and Urbex Lords, aka Alex. It's funny, because when you were saying, talking about this place, you were saying like, bad dad. Me and Steve thought you meant like, Baghdad. <laughs> bad dad. So many people think that when I say it. Yeah, so I, I, yeah, I really thought you were saying Baghdad Hospital. So I thought that was the nickname. I had no idea. Here, but it's called Bad Debt Hospital. It closed once in 1970 just because of bad debts. It had too much debts. Again, we're in a rural area. There's not many good high paying jobs here. So most people are making minimum wage or even under 24K a yearly salary or even under. So therefore they can't pay their debts off to, to the hospital. So the hospital don't get money. So every place just closes down. This is one of them that closed and the company then picked this place up, but then it closed again in like 2001 and it's been closed ever since. So that's why you guys nicknamed it Bad Debt. Bad Debt. Bad Dead Hospital. But we're here and he claims there's a lot of stuff inside here. Totally loaded, full of stuff. You guys are gonna enjoy it. I'm excited, dude. I'm, I'm excited to be down here again with Steve Ronan, so we don't we don't know what's gonna happen. Is there actually blood packets here? Yes. We gotta see that. Let's we go. Get into that. Yeah, let's get into this video. <laughs> It's crazy, like when they shut this place down, that's it, they didn't recycle anything, they kept it all here because it wasn't state owned. State owned properties, they always sell their stuff. I mean, remember, they had they didn't have that much money. Remember, when this place closed in 2001, they're still using these TVs. Shout out to the pink shower curtain. Don't leave in red with fake blood splattered on the bed. That rhymed. It's so quiet in here. Every, every window is boarded, so you have to film with a light no matter what. But Jesus, HIV test patient log. Dude, they didn't throw anything out here. You can literally find out who has HIV just from reading this. Infectious waste. I don't even want to open it. I think it's safe to say that every single patient's document are still in this place. What is going on here? Honestly, I feel like I'm in The Walking Dead and I'm looking for supplies in case one of us gets hurt. I mean, this is like legit old blood is dried up still in this tub. Whoa, this is the biggest wheelchair I have ever seen. I'm just saying, <laughs> it really is huge. That could fit like two of us on that one. Oh. See, I would have missed this room, bro. I would have yeah. missed this room. Very easy to miss this one. Damn, cafeteria. That's so fresh. Look at that. Wow, this is a freaking gem. I can't get over it. Morning, noon, evening. You can have a hamburger. Like, it's just showing you the diet that they'll do. Oh, is this like a patient? They probably, yeah, they probably served some of the same stuff every night. And I think that's just because, like, there was only so many patients here. So they didn't have a ton of food they have to buy for everyone. Yeah. Different, yeah. Wow. Yeah, think about that. this, though, bro. 20 years of it just sitting here from when it closed down. Mm -hmm. And it's just all the still the same. Guys, really quick before we get back into the video, I have a big announcement to make. First off, on the riseabove.shop merch, I just dropped a brand new design and three old designs that were fan favorites that people wanted and they've been sold out for so long. Starting with this one, this is the Anime Rebel. Many people have bought these, but also I changed the material now with this. I, I realize a lot of people bought this one, but people keep asking me for this one. I got a premium t-shirt material, so check this one out. And I also have this one get ready back. Starting with the next one, uh, this is an extra large. I lost 25 pounds. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you guys will know I've been working really hard. But this would have fit me in the back in the day, but I lost a lot of weight. But this is actually my favorite design. You got the worldwide right here on the sleeve. You got the rise above right here. And on the back, my favorite part. This is a windbreaker, guys. If you like windbreakers, you'll like this. All good for spring. And here's the next one. Boom. 
Now this is a huge fan favorite. This sold in one day. This is a retro rise above. I mean, I was thinking about the old lemonade cups back in the day for all you 90 kids. And I used to love this and I was like, dude, I have to turn this into a hoodie. We made the colors just right. And we have the last but not least, get ready. I don't have to explain myself much, but we have Nara Dreamland in purple, which is the first time ever. People has been asking me for this color and I have been always putting it off for so long. So now I finally got it. You got the X's right here, kind of represent rebellious. And you got Nara Dreamland coordinates in the middle, which is my favorite abandoned theme park. And it stands for dreaming, by the way. Those are the four designs and I have one last thing to make really fast. I'm gonna announce that me and Seth is doing our first ever Beyond the Dark haunted tour in the UK. So the next two weeks or three weeks of videos are really amazing abandoned places that I've been doing. But then after that, starting I think at the end of March, we're gonna be dropping a huge Beyond the Dark tour videos that we're currently filming right now. If you guys wanna support, check out our Instagrams, check out our Twitters, and then again, also check out the merch, riseabove.shop. Thank you guys, back to the video. Back in 1997, in room 106, would like to talk to you in the morning about a tray. She is sitting with her mother and do not have a money to buy food. She wants to charge her food until the 5th of the month of August and she will pay you then. I told her the policy we have, she still insists in talking to you. So I'm assuming she doesn't have the money yet, but she wants to eat. But she wants to eat. Yeah. yeah. And then she was gonna, yeah, she was gonna pay later. Dude, it's nuts how the health coverage and how things are here in, in the US, I'll tell you that. It's a, it's a very political debate. I'm not even gonna get into my opinions and stuff. It's balanced in some way and it's not, it, it just depends on your life and, and everything. It really is nuts though. Overall, it's crazy. Cause everything, everyone's different. Whoa, for a second I thought the power was on. It was reflection from my light. <laughs> Trip me out. Yeah, look at this. Wow. This one's yeah, really nice. Mint. Still up there yet. Mint room, yep. Personal belongings. I guess they came in with a bunch of signs, decorated their room up. Well, these are some of the patients' rooms. You can see how small they were, single beds. Nothing crazy out to ordinary though. So one of these says help. Jeez. Man, this patient's room has a bunch of old used gloves. There's some rooms over here. I think this leads into the other side of the hallway. God, this is the waiting area. What's good? Airdrops. This is all the medicine rooms. Dude, they really left everything here. Oh my god. The shot. Yeah, dude, look at all these. I wonder how many like flu shot vaccines are in here. I mean, it's really just boxes. Oh, dude, yeah, boxes full of this shit. Like, yeah. yeah this, I, we thought this was cool because there's injectable stuff right here. And look at the bottom. It's like... Yeah, what powder, is that? Yeah, powder? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mix it with this together, and then when you take the shot and you stick it in, bring it into the shot tube, yeah. something like that. That's all I know. I feel, okay. <laughs> That's all fact, I, we're just like, what in the world do yeah, you do with this yeah, stuff? Like, that's literally all I know. <laughs> what else is going on here? This is crazy. Your multivitamins and minerals. Well, you got amoxicillin, so you got um, antibiotics right there. There's literally everything that can cure if you're sick. It can do absolutely everything with every medicine is, is here, or was here. A lot of it's kind of gone now or been stolen. There's so many supplies here. It's just all like band-aids and gauze and breathing tubes, masks, gowns, kits. <laughs> Keys for every room of the hospital. This CPU contains confidential patient's information. Dang, I haven't seen these PCs since I was in, like, elementary school. Oh, I love when I can find pictures of this place back in the day. We gotta find this x-ray machine, match it up to this picture I love when I do before and afters. Back in 1996, by the way, check out the timestamp on the bottom corner. Some biohazard bags. Dude, that is so nasty. Biohazard waste right in there. Oh my god, another wing. What's in here, Steve? It's the blood samples. Is it? Oh my god, I wanna see. Have you seen the blood? It's right there. Do not open. Literally, it says do not open. Do not open with stickers. Biohazard. Dude. Oh no. After seeing I already it, opened it. I'm, I'm, I'm cursed already. Kind of freaked out myself though. Oh my god. This really is nuts. You got urine samples. Look at this. Blood tubes. Jesus Christ. That piss is probably like 10 years old in there. 20. 20 years plus. Could even be 30. This is like some Resident Evil crap, bro. Again, I've never seen like their blood okay. still left in there before. Because it's abandoned, you know? It's old. Like usually, you know, you, you've been in so many hospitals. They always throw them away or something happens. That's crazy. This building is just like a massive HIPAA violation. Do not open as well. The hell? What does it say? Red blood cells? 
Yeah, Regent red blood cells. I don't even want to touch that. Oh my. Whoa, blood body, what is that? Blood body fluid? Like These are blood, blood, yeah, this is yeah. donated blood, yeah. This is the donated blood. Just think like somebody, so I actually saw this on the comments, somebody donated their blood thinking that they were doing good and saving someone's life and it's just sitting here in this hospital. Yo. So sad. Yeah, if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, can you imagine, good point what Alex said, imagining donating blood to help someone and they close this hospital down and they just left all that blood for nothing. So you never donated your own blood or nothing. It's just left here. That's crazy. It's such a great thing. Like, and it is a great thing. It is. No, it is. Life, Volunteer donor. Right there. Oh my god, this is crazy. Dude, the blood ended up just drying up or something. It's yeah, just dried yeah, it's up. Not, it's, not like it's, it's just evaporated. Bad. But it's all, yeah, yeah, and, it turned, and you know it's blood. It's all dried up from, it's all brown. Ooh, oh this one. Ooh, this one's a good one right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, dude. Dude. No, it's so oh. scary. That's so scary to me. Our x-ray machine's still here? Oh, yeah. yeah? There's one right now. Yeah, alright, I seen a picture of people in front of it. It's probably the same one. Dude! Yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah, let me see this! Look at that, yeah! Dude, he was right here! Yeah. That's, that is insane. Oh, it doesn't say the date on the picture either. I know, I dude. mean, you you know it's like probably like in the 1990, something like that. It's at least, it, it's at least, yeah. like at least one. Yep, like, yep. My gosh. Yo, this is actually crazy. X-rays of their brain. Yeah, 1998 too. Man, if the power worked, we could turn this on. That would be nuts. I mean, look at this. X-rays are on the floor. The X-ray bed. The machine itself. Oh my God. Never seen a surgical light like this. Check this out, it looks like a freaking spider. This room has absolutely everything. That light is pretty high tech, by the way. I mean, crutches, shots. Meds, x-ray files on the floor, band-aids. This is the most preserved, crazy freaking room I've ever seen. Same with this. This is a very, very rare gem. Nurse's station. 20 years of it being abandoned still looks kind of the same. Honestly, as like someone who really likes to find abandoned places, this building is worth traveling for alone. A lot of this could have been recycled or used, honestly, seriously. A bunch of just syringes and boxes down there. All the bio waste, all still stacked in here. Gosh, 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 gosh. Okay, let's get out of this room and keep looking. It's like a maze, because I feel like I'm almost done exploring it all, but I don't know. Oh, I'm back where we started. Whoa, I didn't see this room. These are their gowns before surgery. This is right before your surgery, bro. Yeah, look at this, the whole freaking lap. Dude, all, <laughs> all their tools and <laughs> scissors, everything's in here. Oh my God, what the hell? It's like, Back in Fukushima, completely pristine hospitals when they abandoned the place. The last time I seen anything this good was there. Place is absolutely freaking nuts. I mean, these are old, bloody, freaking used gloves. You can't even make this up right now. Alex is showing me the other operating room right now. The whole ceiling oh is my. completely intact. Now it's just... Oh yeah, so it's caving in. Yeah. Oh, so this would have been... Hey! It's still set up really cool, it but... Is, yeah. Wow, not like the other one. The whole ceiling got ruined, yeah. In Alex's video, you can watch it. You can see that this place is still set up right before it collapsed. And the thing is, it's just know, all it's natural not from decay. Anyone hanging on the yeah. Like an idiot, like it's just. It's just natural. It, it, it's exactly what I'd want to see a building go. Yeah, yeah, a true form of like decay, a true form. Yeah, no, this is a better one. It was. A, it would have been a bigger. It's a bigger room, better setup. You have the medical labs right here. Uh, there's shelves. All their gowns, scissors, crazy things were inside here for operation. This is like when they cut you open and, and they gotta drop something in here, it would be in there. Not nice. It's all left. This is a mind-blowing place. Like I said, it is a true gem in the middle of nowhere in like a freaking village at this point. I can't believe what we've seen here. I, I'm, I'm sure you guys who's watching can't believe it either. Unused blood packets, samples of different things, antibiotics, medicines. There's just so much stuff here. It's, it's insane. It's crazy what you're gonna find here. I explored a ton of places that were hospitals. Never have I witnessed this much like this. Not in the USA at least. This is a crazy spot and that's why I just love to explore. I mean, there's so many places we're gonna come across 
across even my next five years in this career if I'm still doing it then. I'm, over, I'm already eight years on YouTube doing this, about 500, 600 videos in on just abandoned places all around the entire world, not just here. I get excited every time. It doesn't get old. And it's always a new adventure for the most part. I go into phases where I'm like, I like, want to do only hospitals and then sometimes I'm like, hey, I want to do some schools. And the next time I just want to do houses. And now for like the last actually like seven months, I've been really just loving asylum and houses. So I don't know, this is cool to get to change for a bit. I'm liking it. Ever since COVID, it's been hard to get to some cool places I actually want to go to. So anyways, I don't want to just ramble on. I'm going to give a huge shout out to Urbex Lord, aka Alex. Link in the description down below. Check them out. Check out Steve Ronan. I'm ending this here. I'm getting out of here because it's just, you know, it's all sealed up. There's no airflow and I'm breathing in really bad mold. I should not do that. Peace guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Rise above. Just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching. Oh, and check out the merch. Link in the description down below. Gang!